This is a great picture because you know what? This is usually me and her match. <laughs> this time it's like. So, I'm going to let you take pictures by yourself. Do you have a few seconds for some questions? Yes. So, Boxing Ego here with Kevin Kelly. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. And what brings you out? What brings me out, of course, I'm on the Border Hall of Fame, Nevada Box Hall of Fame. My wife did this event with Michelle Corrales, pretty much, put it together. Um, I'm, of course, supporting the wife by being on the red carpet for her. Or whatever she needs me to do as a champion, that's what I do. I, I call a few other champions like Quick Tillis and I called up Ernie Shavers and Mike McCullum and I try to get some of the champs to represent the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame. We're trying to make this hall as big as the International Hall of Fame. We think this is the home of boxing, this is the Mecca. And at the end of the day, we need to establish this Hall of Fame to be the biggest in the world. Nice. And there's another event coming up in the fall? Yes, in July we have an event. Uh, we have the big dinner that we always have, the celebration of the, the new hall. Okay, of the new class of 2016. We have Riddick Bowe, we have Ray Mancini, uh, uh, Lopez is coming in. Of course, he's a great fighter to get in. Ray Boomer Mancini, you name it, they're going to be there. Um, probably Tyson to be in the room. Our events are really, really, really nice because we have the establishment to put them on in, which no other place has like this. I mean, think about this place. Look at, look at this. Look at this place. Look how amazing this place is. And this is a good time for Vegas boxing. They got the T-Mobile Arena just opened up. I don't know if you had a chance to look inside. So what what is special about Vegas? Well, Vegas is the boxing mechanism. And not only do all the fighters live here, the fighters, you know, fight here. I mean, or train here. I mean, um, everybody from uh, Tyson, Mike McCollum, Ernie Shavers, Floyd Mayweather, uh, you name the fighter lives here. As well, as entertaining acts like Britney Spears. So this is the boxing mecca. This is where boxing should be placed. This is where the home. I mean, I'm from New York. It's called the boxing mecca. But it's kind of fell off a little bit because of high taxes. So this is where the fighters decide to live, including myself from New York City. So this is the boxing mecca. So us to make this international hall, just like they have the international hall already, not messing with everything Ed Brophy's doing, but we love him. We love the, the international hall, but I want to make something equivalent to that on the West Coast. Perfect. Now, speaking of the Hall of Fame, Prince Nassim was just inducted, and you had the pleasure of sharing the ring with him. What do you remember most about your fight with him? Well, I was there. Uh, in the fight, I didn't think the fight was going to be explosive as it was. I just thought it was another win. I'm going to keep moving. Uh, at the time, I was the best featherweight in the world. Um, when I seen this guy making more money than me, I wanted to know who is this guy. So I went to England and challenged him two times. You know, we, we were like brothers now, of course. After you have a great fight, you make history together. We can't hate each other. We love each other. He called me from time to time. And what I remember pretty much is that I didn't really believe this fight was going to turn into what it did. It's got a life of its own, you know. Um, me and Troy Dorsey, me and Smoke Gainer. You know, all the wins I got. I got 72 professional fights and I got 60 wins. The only fights I hear about is me and Gaynor, me and Troy Dorsey, and me and the Prince. Uh, those fights, I beat Roberto Soto, you know what I'm saying, in his prime, and I don't get no accolades to that. Goyo Vargas set the world title from Luis Espinosa. So, you know, with me, I look at it like this. I'm glad it took a life of his own, and I shared a spotlight with him. Um, it's just that he didn't, wasn't there last year at the Hall of Fame, but I was there. He couldn't get out because he couldn't get a visa. I know that, Prince. Um, very much, you know, I was still here. I always wanted to rematch. She told me it would never happen. I understand. But at the end of the day, I'm about legacy. Uh, I don't care who I fight. I give Khan credit. Khan is a throwback right now. By Khan going against Canelo, this is what fighting is really about. It's not about the money. You know, people don't remember all that money you make, the house you live in, the cars you drive. People remember the fight you put on for them. For him to step up to a weight class and fight a bigger man, that's a challenge. That's something I would do. Definitely. Now, last question. You do some work with Gennady Golovkin and his team. What do you think of Golovkin? Is he the best middleweight? Definitely. I mean, you seen him beat numbers, him? numbers, nobody's going to beat him. Um, not even Canelo? Can, Canelo can't beat, can't beat him. The other one is not crazy. But I think by simple. What? See, here's the, here's the scenario. What Canelo did to Cotto and what he's, what he's going to do probably to Khan tomorrow is he has a weight advantage and a size advantage. And he's going to bully them a little bit. Granada got the same thing over Canelo. He's bigger, he's stronger, and he can, he can do the same thing to him that he did the, the past. I tell everybody, I love Canelo. A heck of a fighter. But when you get him in with Golovkin, he's a different level. Triple G's at a different level. Um, he's in his prime right now. He's strong, he hits hard, he takes punches. There's not much he can't.
can't do. He's the only fighter so far that I've commentated that I can't figure out how to beat yet. So I will figure it out maybe one day, but right now I can't figure out how to beat him. But right now I think it's between him and Roman Gonzalez, who runs the game. And let me tell you something. I like Cal Brook, my top five. Cal Brook, love him. Okay? Um, Terrence Crawford, love him. Okay, right now we're in a knockout era. We went from the 12 round era to the knockout era. Floyd's gone, so right now Floyd carried the torch, but now it's time for a new era. And I think, you know, Floyd talks about coming back. Let the guys have they, have they run. Let the guys run the sport. When I step down, I step down, I let the new guys come up and let them have the, run, have the shine. Perfect. I appreciate you for your time, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you. Let him know. I'll tell him. Can we need your point for the beautiful